right, good afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. Instagram, this is Rosh. Uh, I posted this on Facebook that I would show some uh, recording setups uh, that I would recommend if you're trying to get into the online teaching, online um, remote session thing. I wanna present a couple different options for all of us that are gonna be stuck at home for the next couple of weeks. So um, the main goal for this is not like the best recording quality ever. I wanted to make something that was very affordable, very cheap and very plentiful to find and really easy to use and really easy to set up because um, you know, if you got like a super fancy recording setup and live streaming setup, by all means use that. This is just for all you guys that um, you know, are maybe off the road or off tour and you just wanna get something set up really quick and really fast and really easy. So. Um, the first thing that I always recommend is um, this microphone right here. So this is the AT2020 USB-I microphone. And uh, the cool thing about this microphone is it is basically a microphone that is USB powered and it plugs directly into your iPhone. Uh, this only works with iOS. So um, if you do use an Android phone, I would recommend getting an iPad because it'll definitely work with that. Um, I'm recording this with an iPhone 8. The cool thing about this microphone is that um, it comes with this little mount that goes on a mic stand. It comes in, uh, where did it go? Oh, there it is. It comes with this tripod, and then it comes with also another cable um, that is regular USB that will plug into your laptop. So if you're gonna be Skyping or streaming or recording anything, content, making any of that kind of stuff, and you just want something that's plug and play, this is a perfect mic for you. Um, this plug directly into your laptop. So um, the issue that most, um, I'm using drums mainly to demonstrate all these recording things because if you play guitar, piano, violin, whatever, uh, you usually don't have to deal with the volume of your instruments. So um, most of the time you can just totally use the microphone on your phone or your tablet or your laptop to um, stream or teach or do any of that stuff live. But for drummers, um, you're always dealing with high SPL. So I'm gonna mount this into a stand. And now the problem with when you Skype or FaceTime or anything like that and you're playing drums, um, the sound gets all distorted. Now, if you actually just record video with the regular microphone that it comes with your iPhone, um, it actually sounds okay because what happens is um, it actually compresses the sound. So it actually has like a built-in volume attenuator that pulls the volume down. So um, when you're s streaming or anything, you wanna bring the volume down as much as possible because it'll be distorted and whoever is on the other end will just hear kind of this distorted mess. So if I play the drums right now uh, directly into the phone microphone, uh, not using the AT2020 mic, it sounds okay, it sounds decent. <laughs> Sounds fine, um, because the phone automatically compresses the volume for the video. So, now, this microphone is pretty easy to use. Um, so what happens is you take your cable and you just plug it right in to the phone, and then boom. On, there's a gain knob right here, so depending on the volume of whatever you're recording, you can turn it up or down. So it works great for voice. Um, it works. Uh, great for guitar, you can record content, you can uh, record into your laptop, whatever you want to do. So this is what the microphone sounds like. Um, now, if you're going to use this uh, for FaceTime or Skype or anything, I've had, it's been intermittent. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So just want to give a heads up on that. Sometimes like the audio will still be, will default to the microphone in your phone or tablet. Sometimes it will be from this. So you can hear this right now. This is this microphone's picking up everything I'm recording on. So I played this for the drums. Play something. So right now the microphone's like kind of functioning as an overhead sort of. So it sounds decent. Uh, the thing is, you can use the gain knob to make sure that if the other person that is listening on the other end of the FaceTime or Skype call, um, it's not gonna be super distorted. So uh, that's one option for you guys.
So uh, now I'm sitting down my drum kit. This is gonna be another option. This is option number two. So the first option was the AT2020. It's just one microphone source. It's really easy, you just plug and play. So now if you wanna go to the next level of um, difficulty, I would recommend getting this mixer right here. This is the Zenix, 50, or Zenix Q502 USB. This mixer costs, I don't know, maybe about 100 bucks, maybe 150 bucks, somewhere around there. Um, so this mixer is really great, and here's a couple of reasons why. Um, right now, I have uh, in this mixer, um, I have my kick drum, or I'm sorry, the overhead mic mic'd. Uh, I have this going to my iPad, and then this is actually the kick drum, and this is a headphone jack, so I can plug my in ears into this. Now, the cool thing about this particular um, mixer is that it is a USB mixer, so you have a couple different options. Um, what I would recommend is after that, you get a standard printer cable. This is called a USB-A cable, and then you get this adapter. Now again, I'm not sure for you Android users, so I apologize, I, can, I only use an iPhone. Um, but this adapter right here is called the Apple Camera Adapter, and mainly it's actually used for getting data off a camera, but the cool thing is that it actually functions as a camera, uh, it functions to go into an iPhone. So here's what, I gotta do this one-handed. Take the USB cable out of the back of this, and you actually stick it directly into the iPhone. What I'm using is, for an overhead, I'm using another AT2020 US, uh, AT2020 microphone as an overhead. Um, again, comes with this little holder and uh, mic. And then um, on the front of, in front of the bass drum right here, I have a Shure Beta 52. So I have both my kick and overhead mic, and then I also have this going directly to my iPad. Um, and this, so I've used this just as a practice tool and also being able to record videos of myself. But the cool thing is that you can um, also plug it into either your phone with this adapter or your laptop, which I will demonstrate in a little bit, um, and how to get those settings. So the cool thing is you can use this mixer to record um, stuff to your um, either your phone or your laptop. and. With just the knobs, you can mix in how much you want. So this knob right here controls my overhead, this controls my kick drum, and then this controls how much is coming from the iPad. So I use this as a practice tool, um, you know, to just send a click to my in-ears. You can use headphones, whatever. Um, and then the other thing is that's cool is that most drummers are already aware of this. If you're ever playing a gig with tracks or whatever, you send like the tracks out to the front of house, and then the click goes to your ears. So we won't go into that into this uh, video because this is mainly about how to connect it to your phone. So uh, I'm gonna switch to the selfie cam and demonstrate what happens. All right, so what you're hearing right now from the selfie cam or whatever is my iPhone 8. This is the microphone coming, uh, this is the microphone at the bottom of my phone, so right here. Now what you do is coming out of the mixer via USB with this camera adapter, is you plug it into the phone, and then here's what happens. Okay, so now um, I have all the audio that's going into the mixer feeding into my phone. So this is the overhead right up here. I have my kick drum. So, and then I also have uh, audio coming from my iPad. And I can turn that up or down. So, um, and then what you do is you blend what you, uh, what audio you want to feed into your phone, either for recording video, for, you know, FaceTime, Skype, streaming, all that kind of stuff. Again, sometimes it's intermittent for iPhones. Sometimes it'll take the audio from the mixer. Sometimes it won't, which is really strange. And I haven't been able to replicate the problem, but in general, it can work. The other thing is the mixer does the same thing when you plug into a laptop, which I will demonstrate in a different, in like the next video. So, um... What you do now is you're monitoring either using in-ears or headphones or whatever the mix, the actual overall mix that you want when you're playing. So if I want more overhead, I can just turn the knob up. If I want more kick, I can turn it down. You know, if I need more kick drum, if I need more track. So like for example, here's everything blended together.
pretty simple. Really budget friendly. Obviously, if you have like a really nice, you know, recording setup at home, use that. But this is just for all you guys that are just trying to dive into the settings. So this is coming from the Behringer mixer straight into the phone, um, going into the overhead. And you can hear I'm just turning the overhead up and down. Um, it has multiple channels that you can feed all kinds of different things into it. So again, you don't need a mic every piece of the drum kit or whatever if you're just doing this just for like quick and easy kit record. So all I do for recording videos is like I'll play along to a track, mount it up on a stand, hit record, plug the plug the cable in, and then boom, I heard a, I can play along to a track, upload a video, or I can stream it or do whatever. So uh, that is another option that you guys have. All right. Right, uh, so now I'm gonna show you some options if you're gonna use your laptop instead of your phone. So from the previous video, uh, we were using the Zenix 502. Um, so you can also use this with a laptop. So instead of having um, the dongle or uh, the I I Apple camera adapter, um, what you do is you take the USB cable coming out of the mixer into your laptop. Uh, I have one of these new MacBooks, so I have to use this dongle. But, um, and then here's what happens. If you go into Skype settings, audio and video settings, um, I'm gonna pop up, that's me, hi. And then uh, right here, where it says microphone, um, instead of using the built-in microphone, which is being detected from the laptop right there, this is the laptop microphone, you select USB audio codec. So now it's going to take all the audio coming from this mixer and send it and route it into Skype. So for example, if I tap this overhead above me, you can see that it is being sent. If I send click, it's hearing that. Now, you're not gonna really hear it, but if you do hear some of the click, it's just my in-ears, okay? And then even if you do a test call, um, so even if you do a test call, you'll hear that the what's going to be sent to the other person on Skype is going to be coming from, all the audio is coming from this mixer. And then this built-in output right here is what you would be listening to them for. So you can either built-in output or you put in the headphones or whatever. You can also use USB audio codec so it sends audio back to the mixer. So if you are monitoring, for example, I'm monitoring the mixer, uh, my in-ears are plugged in here. You can do that, but I don't recommend it because you want to hear everything that's coming from uh, your laptop. So I would recommend using built-in output you, right here for my particular laptop. Uh, my headphone jack is right there, or you can just use speakers or whatever. So let's make a test call. Okay. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. All right, so now I'm going to tap on this overhead, okay, so it's picking that up. I'm also gonna turn on the click, okay? Now, you guys aren't hearing any click, but Skype sure is, because the uh, mixer is sending audio to Skype. So when the Skype call ends, like such, you're gonna hear the click. Uh, now, obviously, you can send tracks from Spotify, you can do whatever you want. We're gonna end that. Um, you can send tracks from Spotify. You can, you know, send, you know, audio from Logic or Pro Tools or whatever you want. Doesn't really matter as long as it's being fed into this mixer. So, like, my setup personally is I have the kick drum and the overhead mic, so they can actually hear me playing drums on the other side, and it's not gonna sound all distorted because you're monitoring what it actually sounds like going into Skype. So uh, now, if you're gonna do FaceTime or anything like that, um, it's all the same kind of thing, you just have to do this instead. So system preferences, and then you have to go into sound, and then right here, oh, sorry, let me, um, output, you want to use the internal speakers, but the input, instead, you use USB audio codec. So for example, right now, it is picking up audio from my laptop mic, but if I do USB audio codec, now I'm gonna tap this um, overhead, or I can even send click or whatever, and you'll see that my laptop is picking up audio from the click. So there's the click being played. It's receiving the audio because I'm using USB audio codec. And again, that means the laptop 
is understanding that all the audio that you're feeding into the laptop is coming from this mixer and it's going to be sent via FaceTime if you're using FaceTime on your laptop or anything like that. So those are two options with FaceTime or Skype. It works with Zoom or whatever other streaming service, Google Hangouts, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but the most popular that I found are FaceTime and Skype. So hopefully that clears up some stuff uh, if you're gonna use the um, mixer with your laptop. And again, you don't need to buy some fancy, um, you know, uh, you know, digital audio converter or anything like that. This mixer costs about a hundred bucks and obviously hopefully you already own a laptop of some sort. So hopefully that makes sense. All right, now we're looking at my laptop and then this is gonna be a laptop only solution. So uh, another piece of gear that I recommend is the Apogee One. Um, it's super small, it's super compact and it's super cheap. This is probably five or six years old. So this is probably like, I don't know, probably 50, 60, 70 bucks used. Um, they sell updated versions of this. This is the original one. Uh, Apogee one. I, I think I got it for like 80 bucks. Um, so it's pretty decent. Um, and again, you're not going to record a great album on it or anything, but this is just used for streaming or working with clients remotely. Um, and the cool thing about this is it has an internal microphone. It has this breakout cable that you can plug a, a standard microphone into this. Um, so you can plug your microphone directly into that. Uh, right now, Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Okay, right now I have the overhead above the drum kit plugged into that. And then this is for standard instrument cable. So you can plug your guitar, your bass, your keyboard into it. Right now I have the iPad, the output of the iPad, plugged into this right now. And the cool thing is that on the fly, you can press this button in the middle and it's gonna switch between all the modes that it has. So, um, or you can use the software, which I prefer, so you can select which output is being fed into the Apogee One. So, for example, if you're working with a client, you're talk, you're speaking into this microphone right here, and then you go, okay, cool, I'm going to send you a track, um, and take a listen, and then all you have to do is switch to, let's say, the instrument, which is what is plugged into here now, and then if you need to speak into a regular microphone, or if you have a microphone like your guitar amp or an overhead, uh, your guitar amp mic with like a regular standard guitar SM57 or you have your overhead you switch between them so you can switch between them and they're all getting fed into your laptop into Skype so for example here's how it would work so um, again whoops you have to go into Skype audio video settings and right down here hello that's me um, right here it's gonna default to a built-in microphone and then this is your laptop mic, but all you do is select the one. Now, what I'll demonstrate is we're gonna make a test call and I'm gonna switch through all these modes right here. So for example, I'm just gonna start sending click now. All right, so now click is being fed into the Apogee One, but you, it isn't selected yet until you pick instrument. And the overhead is plugged into external and I have to give it phantom power because that particular microphone requires phantom power. And then the internal mic right here is just the microphone that's on the front of the Apogee. So uh, let's make a test call. So. Hello, welcome to the Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. All right, this is the internal microphone. Then I'm gonna switch this. Now. All right, this is the internal microphone. Then I'm gonna switch this. Cool, we're gonna end that. Okay, we're gonna make another test call. This time, Hello. I've selected- Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Sorry. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. All right, now this is the uh, overhead that I'm using. So tap in the overhead right here. Hello, overhead. And then it's receiving audio through the overhead from here and uh, you can adjust how much you need. So once the call ends, the uh, overhead that I'm using, so tap in the overhead right here, hello overhead, and then it's receiving audio through the overhead from here. That's and, my uh, boss. You can adjust how much you need. Okay, so we're gonna end that call. And last but not least, this is the instrument cable. So 
this is being fed from my iPad, but again, you could plug your guitar, your, your bass, your keyboard, whatever, into this. And we're going to make another test call. Hello, this time, welcome to Skype call testing click. service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. So right now the click's being fed into Skype and um, selecting that. So when the test call ends, you're gonna hear click whenever it ends. Any day now. That's the click. And again, this is not coming from the iPad anymore. This is the pre, what was sent into Skype. Okay, we're gonna end that. So, um, and then the cool thing about this is you, you can just switch between the modes by pressing this button. So, um, the cool, th or adjusting it here. So if you need to demonstrate something to a client, you pick the instrument, then if they need to hear like a track or something, you just select that and it gets sent. And then if you need to speak, you just use the internal microphone and it's right here. Um, so they do sell versions of this that work for the iPad or the iPhone, but I'm not familiar with them. So I can't recommend them. I'm not really 100% sure. Okay. So now last but not least, if you're not using Skype, if you're using um, regular FaceTime, so again, you would just go up here, system preferences, and then you go down to sound. Oops. Go down to sound. And then right here, you can select which of these is going to be sent to FaceTime. So in this case, uh, the external microphone, which is the overhead, is this one. So I'm gonna tap the overhead, and you can see that the Mac is uh, getting that. This is the instrument. So right now, nothing's happening, but if I hit play on the metronome, now it's getting click. I'm gonna stop that. And then last but not least, the internal microphone. So right here. So if I'm tapping this microphone, and you can hear that it's picking up all that. And again, or you, this is the internal microphone, which is the laptop mic right here. So that would be sent through FaceTime. So um, hopefully that all makes sense. So that's another option. Again, the Apogee One, uh, really easy to use. Um, you just plug and play, and it's like 80 bucks. All right, we're in the home stretch. So um, at the first part of this video, uh, the microphone that I recommended is the AT2020 USB-I. Um, and so this is the laptop solution if you're planning on using a laptop to stream uh, Skype, FaceTime, live. So the cool thing about this laptop, or I mean, sorry, about this microphone is in addition to the lightning cable that it comes with, it also comes with a standard USB cable. So coming from the microphone directly into the dongle going into my laptop. And again, what you would need to do is go into Skype, audio video settings, and that's me. Uh, right here, it's probably gonna default to built-in microphone, but that is the webcam microphone but you select here and it goes to AT2020 USB-I. You just, you, you don't need to install any software or anything. You just plug it in, you select that. And then now what's going on is that the mic, uh, the microphone is picking up um, all the audio and sending it into your laptop. So I'm gonna tap on the mic, you see that? And the cool thing is that it has a gain knob. So for example, if you're speaking, you know, you can turn the gain maybe halfway or something like that. You just get a good level. I'm talking normally. Let's make a test call. So. Hello, welcome to the Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Testing, I'm going into the microphone and uh, I'm going to adjust the gain a little bit because it seems pretty high. Um, so now. Testing, I'm going into the microphone and uh, I'm going to adjust the gain a little bit because it seems pretty high. Uh, okay, we're gonna end that. So that is just you talking into the microphone. Now, if you're playing a loud instrument like drums, uh, you just turn the gain all the way down. And you notice that if I'm talking, it's barely being picked up on the microphone, just a little bit. Test, just a little bit. I tap on it, so I turn the gain all the way down. And then, uh, let's make a test call, but I'll play drums instead. Hello. Welcome to Skype call testing service. So I apologize, beep, you're gonna hear. Please record a message. Actually, Afterwards, you... 
So uh, what I'll do is in this next moment, um, I'm going to play drums and you're gonna hear it first coming into the phone. Um, and then when it plays it back for the test call, that is actually what the other person on the other end of your Skype call will hear, okay? So bear with me while I play some drums. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Um, so, as you heard, when it spit back uh, what was being sent to Skype, it wasn't distorted at all. And uh, the microphone's right here, right next to the drum kit. So, uh, it picked it up with a lot of clarity, it sounded really good. And that is what your, the other end of your, uh, the person on the other end of your Skype call is going to hear. Uh, and again, in, as I've gone over in this video many times, but we'll just do it again, just so everybody has it. Um, if you're planning on using FaceTime, um, system, sound, and Instead of using the internal microphone for the input, you just pick the AT2020 USB-I. Now, the microphone is picking it up. I'm sorry, uh, yeah, the microphone, this microphone, not the laptop microphone. So, boom. So, you're and I can turn the gain up, so it's all the way up now, so it's a lot more sensitive, versus all the way down, it's barely hearing anything above. And a kick drum or whatever this is all being picked up in the microphone this microphone right here so uh hopefully that helps all you guys and gals and other people out there trying to make a transition to doing stuff remotely for the time being i uh, hope this video helps if you guys have any questions feel free to get in touch with me and we'll go from there thanks